Right, well, folks, we've run across a bloke called Michael Frossos from the West. And we are standing talking to Patch in front of his Kenworth, which is... A 1975 SAR. And we'll do a little bit of a walk around of that in a minute, Patch. Patch, nice to meet you, mate. So I hear you've come across from the West, is that right? Correct. Especially for this show, of course. Uh, not quite, but uh, yeah, I happen to be here while it's on. <laughs> How long have you been driving, mate? Uh, about 40 odd years. Okay, oh, you, you, young, you, you look younger than you are then. Yeah, yeah, young 64. So you're a Western Australian born and bred? I am, yes. Okie dokie. What, what do you call haul with this, mate? Uh, mainly oversized, general, yeah, specialised stuff. Okay, and you've done a bit of work to it on the years? I've had it for 20, nearly 26 years, I think it is. Oh, okay. How many Ks on the clock? Uh, who knows? Uh, <laughs> probably, I've done it probably about three and a half, four with it. Right, well, let's, let's do a walk around while I'm talking to you. All right. Because, mate, this looks better than brand new. <laughs> better than brand new. What yeah. sort of things have you done to it, mate? Uh, it's a, a, a full tear down, um, custom rails, hand built. Everything's hand built. Um, the whole thing's um, from the ground up. Uh, modified bonnet, um, 63 inch sleeper. Um, okay, walk this one, um, yeah, yeah, everything's, everything's hand built. Um, about the only few items that were purchased were things like guards and um, the uh, stainless surrounds around the sleeper. Everything else has been hand fabricated uh, right down to the rails, uh, skid plate for the turntable, um, custom bonnet, um, everything. Everything's hand built. Wow. And it goes to show that you don't need a fancy paint job to make a truck look trick. You said that, I didn't. Well, oh, mate, it's, <laughs> it's true. Walk this way, we'll go around behind it. it um, I'm serious. You, uh, you, uh, you've got a beautiful looking truck there and it's a standout. Thank you. I mean, even the Sailor bar is completely hand fabricated. Um, it's actually a water tank too. Um, the rails have been radiused and tapered and smooth out at the back. Um, it's seamless. Um, that's the look we wanted and that's what we got. Yeah, you've certainly got that. We'll keep walking around and we'll get a few interior shots later, if that's alright. Oh, it's a bit messy in there, but it's alright. Yeah, mate. <laughs> as long as the outside looks good, the judges aren't doing the inside, I'm told. Apparently not. <laughs> so, your first time to uh, to Alexandra? Yes, and, yes. Uh, you just happened to be uh, doing a trip across with the load at this time and it yep, yep. dovetailed in nicely? Correct, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I was in Melbourne um, staying with a mate of mine and he said there was a truck show on, so we thought we'd come for a drive. Okay. You, um, what got you into trucking, mate? Was it in the family? No, no, no. My uh, father was a tailor, I'm uh, a mechanic by trade, and um, I just got the uh, the bug one day and I was about 25 or 6, I think, or something or other. Yep. And that's what I did. Right. I got out of it for a few years and then got back into it again and that's what I've been doing. So you... Uh, you always driven for yourself, or always? I, I drove um, um, back in the early '90s, uh, late '80s. I drove for uh, a couple of owner drivers, um, just help them out. But yeah, pretty much an owner driver all my life. Okay, just the one truck. Just the one truck. Yeah. Always had one truck. That's uh, provided a good living for you. It certainly has. Yeah. You got family, mate? I have. Yep. Yeah, I've got um, a son, a daughter. Uh, daughter's forty. Four, uh, sons 25 and three grandkids. Okay. Um, now, I hear you were at the Mac Muster, is that right? I was, yes. With uh, this truck? With this truck, So yes. you, you were a ring-in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, certainly was. Uh, we had a good turnout. It was about 214, 16 entries. Um, it was a good day, good that, cause. That's the first time Mac Muster's been held over in no, the West, no, isn't it? No, 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 no. That's the um, third or third time. We didn't have it, over, obviously, because of COVID for the last two years. Okay. Um, but um, it, 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 it goes to a great cause. Um, Which is? Hang on. You missed. <laughs> um, it's for the uh, Perkins uh, Cancer Foundation. Right. Um, raises all the money, good money for the kids, um, or for cancer. Um, yeah, we were there, and um, for some reason I ended up getting truck of the show. I don't know how it happened, but I did. <laughs> And again, folks, uh, we will just show you that, yes, this is indeed a Kenworth, and he won truck of the show at a Mac Muster. So <laughs> okay, don't, don't, don't emphasise too much on that one. <laughs> but it's indicative of, of how the truck looks, mate. Correct. 
So onwards and upwards, no thoughts of retiring? You're only a young 64, did you say? Yeah, look, I, I can't. Um, I'm, I'm like a lot of people. Um, I've got my ailments. Um, you know, I can't do the same as what I used to do. But uh, I figure still another five or six, maybe seven years in me, but that's about it. Right on. I don't want to be a 70-year-old out here. <laughs> All yeah. right, so talking about the elephant in the room, why you call Patch? Yep. Um... In a nutshell, retina blastoma, a tumour in the optic nerve when I was seven years old. I lost half my face, so. When you were seven? When I was seven, yeah. Um, had a few ailments over the course of my life, but it's never stopped me from doing anything. Oh, I, can, um, I can see it's, that. Uh, it's, if anything, it's, um, uh, what's the word? It's encouraged me to do that one step more than the average. Yes, yeah. But no, nah, never stopped me. I've never dwelled on it. I still do what everyone else can do, if not better. Yeah. Yeah. Without saying it being modest, but yeah. Oh, look, mate, you know, as, as, as we all know, there's always someone who's worse off. And, uh, always. You've know, you, uh, you got two arms, you've got two legs. and uh, Yeah, I have. And, uh, <laughs> I'd look funny without them. <laughs> I've only had a patch over my eyes temporarily when I got the bionic ones. Uh, yeah. But uh, there are a lot worse things in life, mate. Congratulations to you on Thank your you truck. Thank you very much. Uh, and the job you've done. And, uh, and congratulations on... <laughs> Winning track of the show with the McMaster. Don't, don't keep on saying that. <laughs> Patch, pleasure to meet you, mate. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for your time. No worries. Anytime.